Hi, I'm Katie Clancy, Chief House Hawker at the Cape House at William Ravis. And I'm Sarah Lapsey Martin of Kinley Grover Real Estate, and this is What's Good Cape Cod, where we show you Cape Cod through the eyes of a couple of locals. Each episode, we'll introduce you to a person, a place, and a thing that we think you should check out. <laughs> so, Sarah, who is our What's Good person this week? So, Katie, our What's Good person is Matt Chopiano, and he owns Spoon and Seed here in Hyannis. Um, it's a wonderful farm table restaurant. It's delicious. But the reason that he's our person is because of what he's been doing to help during this pandemic, and it's the Mamma Mia care packages. Um, so I don't know if anyone's heard of these yet. He's been, he's been doing them for a few weeks now. They actually started, he has a cousin who owns a restaurant up in Millis, um, who started this whole thing and, and he's brought it to the Cape. So his aunt, Matt's aunt actually passed away. Um, and sadly they were thinking, you know, what would she do if she was here um, to help out during this pandemic? And they said, you know what, she would cook. So that's what they decided. They decided that they were gonna put together these care packages, the Mamma Mia care packages. And it's basically a sponsored meal and a way to pay it forward um, to people in the community. So what you do is you can go, um, you know, you can go in, you can call and buy one of these family style meals. And then they actually have people, they call them angel couriers and they pick up the meals and deliver them to people in the community. So, so far they've given them to hospitals, the Red Cross um, capabilities, local fire stations, but it's such a great way to give back and help people that are helping others in our community. So Sarah, if I had like, if I had a client, like I have, I have clients who are in healthcare and I'm not, you know, going to be, I don't, I'm not really in a position to be buying lunch for the entire staff, but if I wanted to have dinner delivered to her house, is that something that I could do? Yeah. So you would actually, you could, you could, um, you could actually go pick it up and be one of the couriers and go deliver it to her and someone else could have already have paid for that meal. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my it's God. Wonderful. That's amazing. We'll make sure that you guys have all of the info on how to reach Spoon and Seed in Hyannis. If you want to be an angel courier or if you want to make a donation or somehow participate in that awesome. Yeah, it's wonderful. That's awesome. Okay. So what is our place this week? Our what's good place. So our what's good Cape Cod place is it's clean slate eatery, which is in Dennis, but we're changing it up a bit. So usually this is chef J Jason Montegel. Um, he owns clean slate and it's a six course tasting menu when you go in there and it's, he does traditional, he does vegetarian menus, but it's a real, um, it's a truly a dining experience that you really have to go in there for. But because of everything that's happening, um, he's unable to do that right now. So to change with the times, he's actually opened a pop-up um, taco to go menu he has. Um, these are delicious tacos. So I had never had one. They're a Southern California style taco. So they're actually grilled um, and they're served with a consummate dipping sauce, which is amazing. Um, He's got a bunch of different ones. He's got a shredded chicken, a stewed beef, um, Brussels sprouts, which is delicious, and a shrimp one, um, all served with the dipping sauce on the side. They are over the top amazing. He also has a kid's menu. So if you've got kids, it's great. And he's doing cinnamon dusted sugar churros right now. It is off the hook. I okay. ate, oh my gosh. So first of all, they're only, you, you got to call, you can call starting at 11. Yes. And then it's game over at two o'clock. Yes, you have to be right. Set, so last week I did this and I called, I started calling at 11. I literally set a timer on my phone to call every five minutes until I got through. It took me an hour to get through it. I was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Can I have all your tacos? Please tell me you're not out. And we got, we got beef, we got Brussels sprouts, we got chicken. Yeah. And it was the first week they were doing the churros. Oh, yeah. my, like other worldly so, so good, like Agreed. must do again. And I pray that they keep this going beyond, I, they, they've, I mean, what a great, what a great thing. I just, oh, so good. One I of agree. the best things I think that's come out of the whole lockdown quarantine thing. I don't know how you feel about it, but. Yes, and he's bringing these California style tacos. I had never had one before, had you? No, no. Yeah. It was like with the cheese skirt all burnt into, oh my, mm, I've so not had that. <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> so, but um, we do miss Clean Slate, and I love going into Clean Slate and, and having the tasting menu. So, I do look forward to him opening that back up. 
But in the meantime, I love the tacos. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so what is our what's good thing this week, Sarah? So our thing is going to be making masks. So we're in this pandemic, everyone needs masks. So whether it's making a mask for yourself and your family to stay safe or helping others to make masks. So one of the first um, people or companies I actually saw on social media was Lauren of Cape Camo. And she did a real call to action on her social media. She had um, started making masks. She cut up their shirts and their sweatshirts, their inventory and made masks. And Cape Cod Healthcare actually reached out to her to help them um, get masks to everyone that needs them at the hospital. So she could only make so many masks. So she put out this all call asking anyone that could sew or could help her. Everybody, I need your help. This is our time to come together and really do something for the community. I need you to share this as many times as you can, and I need you to ask others to share this as well. It needs to get in front of the community. I got a call from Cape Cod Healthcare after they heard about our last post on Instagram about how we're taking our inventory of shirts and sweatshirts and turning them into face masks for the healthcare workers and then donating them. After a bunch of questions in regards to my capacity, who I can get involved, how many people I can get to help me with it, I needed to come on here and to ask all of you, if you or any of your family or friends have access to a sewing machine, are able to sew, follow a simple pattern, then please consider sitting down and making as many as you can to donate to our healthcare workers. I'm going to post the information below this video about where to drop off. There are five donation locations for Cape Cod Healthcare. I'm also gonna put the link in my bio of the pattern that needs to be followed, and I'm gonna make a video on how we're doing so. Let's do this together, guys. Please help out. She's also, in the meantime now, helped out the Army National Guard and supplied them with masks. So, um, she actually on her social media has a list of all the places that might need masks that are still in need, whether it's a police station and urgent care, um, you know, a nursing home, there's so many people that still are in need of these masks. And um, the other great thing is that she has like a sewing pattern. Me personally, I can't sew, so I'm not really that good at making masks, but for someone like me, she does accept donations that go towards shipping the masks, um, which is a really great thing as well. Well, that's awesome, Sarah. And as you can see, I have a mask on right now, which was actually not made by Cape Camo. This is made by my mom, who can sew. I cannot. Um, yeah. But from what I understand, they are not that hard to make. These are a couple of the other ones that my mom has made, which are super cute. And um, I want to give a, you know, a double shout out to Cape yeah. Camo because what they usually make are things like this. These love, leggings, love, love if you're that. watching the video right now, you can see these leggings and they, the pattern, the camo is actually of Cape Cod. And, and they're really high quality, nice thick elastic, like really good material. Um, and it's just a cool thing uh, that she's doing. And the fact that she chopped up her inventory for it um, is quite a testament to her commitment to the cot. So I'm super impressed with that. All right, so that's it, you guys. That is our um, What's Good Cape Cod. Those are our person, our place, and our thing. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it. If you keep listening to What's Good Cape Cod, before you know it, you'll know Cape Cod like we know Cape Cod.